But now we gotta go to the rental place and battle this out. What's up, P Nation? We are in Bucharest, Romania, and today we are attempting, I won't use the word attempting because we don't know if we can or not, to rent a car. Yes, we have everything we need. We just are very nervous for this process. We don't like renting cars because we're so stressful. Anyway. And we read a lot of reviews that the insurance is going to be charged extra, and there's just a lot of things that we're trying to avoid, so. Yeah, but today also marks the first day of our big Romanian road trip. <laughs> so we are so excited. We are going on an eight Day, well, more like seven day road trip around Romania to see all the beautiful castles. We are too excited. But first we gotta get to the metro to get to the bus station. Into the dark hallway. Oh. smashed in the door. <laughs> had to pry it open, but we made it on the first of two subways. <laughs> made it on the bus, the spongy cord. Good for everything, it's not going anywhere. Okay. okay, just like that, an hour and a half later, we are here <laughs> at the airport. But now we gotta go to the rental place and battle this out. Are you ready? No. Okay, so they are not in the rental car place. This is the second time we run into this. They don't have an office here. Yeah. So this will be even more interesting. Right, we have to just have to get a shuttle. Yeah. We dealt with this. Two guys running out of their garage. Yeah. No, I hope not. <laughs> waiting for me with my name on a sign and we were an hour late. I felt so badly. <laughs> he said it was fine. He's like, oh, it's okay. We had other people to pick up. But and it's still. his second day on the job. Aww. Why do you think something's gonna go wrong? We didn't tell you guys, we got this car for super cheap. How much was it? It's twenty-seven dollars. For eight days. Eight days. It like not twenty-seven dollars a day. Twenty-seven dollars. <laughs> That's it. So we're like something's gonna happen. Cause right. there's no way it's yeah. this cheap. And I have I have insurance on my credit card, mm -hmm. like a CDW, mm -hmm. and so they're like, you have to refuse the insurance with the car company. And I was mm -hmm. like, but that's how they make money. Like, you can't, you can't just like rent out a car for $27. It doesn't work. So without them getting you somehow. Maybe it works. But those guys were really, really nice. And I know you can't judge based on the client, like the, the people helping you because they can be really, really nice and then get you in the end anyway. In the end, yeah. But that was, a guy, that, was that guy's first day and he did such a nice job. And they like went really thoroughly with me around the car. So. We think we did it. I'm feeling good. And I'm really excited to drive. I haven't driven in like four months. So road trips are now. Yeah. Okay, we made it to our first stop, one second stop. We stopped at the grocery store and then we came here and people are like asking me all these questions. One guy was like, can I park here and get cigarettes? She was like, yeah. And then another <laughs> lady was like, how do I roll up my window? <laughs> like within three seconds. I don't know what's going on today. We are having a picnic. So our favorite place to shop is Lidl or L-I-D-L. I don't know. We got bread, we got turkey, we got mayonnaise, we got 
cheese. It's gonna be great. So I just about died because Leah bought 2% milk. Oh wait, it's yogurt. Is this it really? is drinkable yogurt. Oops. Oh, so full. Sandwiches were so good. Now we are on our way. It's gonna be two hours to what's the town called? Brasov? Brasov. Brasov. mountainous I did not know Romania was as mountainous it's really yeah. nice out here these villages are super themed I know I feel like they're already Transylvania themed although we don't know really what Transylvania theme is <laughs> where the boundaries of that yeah. start they're just really really cute like, <laughs> <in Transylvania>. yeah <laughs> welcome to Hotel Transylvania and originally we were supposed to go to Brasov Castle what's it called Pelas Pelas Castle we are going to Brasnov instead because we ran out of time. So yeah. we're gonna come to Bella's Castle tomorrow, but we're gonna check out Brasnov tonight. Nope. Whew. And just like that, three hours later, we made it to Brasnov. Apparently, is that how you say it? Brasnov. Brasnov. Yes. We're staying in a neighborhood, an Airbnb, instead of staying in a hotel. We wanted to get the authentic experience to stay here. And we're trying to find dinner before we meet our Airbnb hosts, so we're looking out for some pizza. This is the street we're staying off of. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we went to a pizza place, and they got a calzone that's as big as our I'm probably gonna eat all of Dinner was so good. I don't think I've had that many carbs in my life. And now we're about to check into our Airbnb and then apparently we're gonna walk around the town and yes. see what is still open because some historical sites are closed at this time and some aren't. to the city center it's like such a different vibe here it's totally woodsy like people are just like yeah. super active our airbnb hosts teaches ski lessons teaches yeah. bike tours and hiking tours like what yeah, true that's only one person though <laughs> <laughs> i know but like all the people rollerblading and it just seems like a very active like yeah. country timber city it's like I would describe it so far. First impression is like it's a big city, but it looks so quaint. So mm -hmm. it's like a small, big city. Yes. been relaxing and recap of day one first we didn't know if we we're gonna get the rental car then we got it got it and then we drove all the way to Brasov. we didn't necessarily make it to the castle we were expecting to go mm -hmm. to but that just means that tomorrow is gonna be an even bigger day <laughs> it's gonna be awesome thanks for watching Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, well, so 